Hey, I'm Kylie of Kylie M Interiors, online paint color consultant, blogger, and e-design expert. Today we're looking at Sherwin-Williams Gray Screen. As you can see, Gray Screen is a gray paint color. Now every paint color has an LRV, and that's a number it has on a scale of zero, which is black, to 100, which is white. This guy sits at 59, so that's in the light range, but slightly heavier end of the light range. If you have a super bright room, it's going to hold up better than an off-white or more traditional light color would. It won't wash out as much. But if you have a dark room, it can be a little heavy looking. You're going to need some good interior lighting to bring it to life. Now, every gray paint color has undertones of blue, green, or purple, and there's no avoiding them. So you need to pick which one you're, you need based on the finishes in your home. A lot of us have preference. We say, well, I don't like gray with a green undertone. I don't like gray with a purple undertone. But it's actually more about what the finish is in your home suit. Because if we do the opposite undertones, it's just going to clash. So as you can see, gray screen is a gray. It has a little bit of a blue undertone. Now the tricky part is that blue itself can be blue green or blue purple. So by process of comparison, we're going to see which way this guy swings. We're going to start on the farther end of things was Silver Strand. So Silver Strand is a pretty darn good mix of blue, green, and gray. So that really shows us the blue that we've got in gray screen. Passive. Now Passive is a gray that has super flexible undertones. It can really do anything. And compared to this, we see a little bit more green in there. And again, that shows us the blue there. And if anything, maybe a bit blue purple, right? Tinsmith, one of my favorite grays in this range. So there's Tinsmith. We can see the two types of grays, right? This one's a bit stormier and smokier. This one's a bit more fresh and cool looking, right? Now Tinsmith has a pretty decent blue undertone and it doesn't always flash into green, but compared to this, we really are seeing a little bit more green in there, which shows us that gray screen is a blue that loves to lean into purple. But Let's go to the other end of the scale, to Lazy Gray. Now this is a gray that really hits that blue-purple undertone hard. So what this shows us, what comparison shows us, is where a color sits. This shows us that Gray Screen has a really beautiful blue undertone, and it doesn't really swing too hard one way or the other. It might minorly cater to purple. Now, if you have north facing light, that cool light, it's a gray blue light, it's going to enhance the cool undertones of this. If you have south facing light or say afternoon western light, that really warm sunshine, that is going to just soften these colors a bit. I wouldn't say make them murky, but it takes that crisper cool edge off a little bit. Now let's look at a few white paint colors because you're probably going to be painting some trim. Let's start warm. So Sherwin-Williams Alabaster has some yellow in it. You can see how a warm white, will that, that warmth bounces off the cool a little bit. And it, it can work. I wouldn't say it's my favorite combination. We move up. This is a more moderate white. This is my favorite white because it's just flexible. So if you, have, if you have cooler grays like this in your home, you also have warmer tones, you're going to find pure white a really good happy medium because it, it, can, it can nod towards both of them without really fighting, right? Getting cleaner, high reflective white, love it. So you can see how gray screen really starts bouncing off that cleaner, crisp white approach, right? And lastly, this is the one I'm always careful of and I'll tell you why, Sherwin-Williams Extra White. So Extra White is the coolest of the bunch and I do love this combo a lot, but Extra White's a tricky one because Ideally, you'd have the same white trim going throughout your home and on your cabinets for consistency, right? But extra white really only likes cool colors, so your whole home has to have cool colors in it to pull off extra white. If you wanted to have some uh, creamy walls, beige and tan, extra white's not going to let you do that. So I, if you're okay with the rooms being different colored trim, then you could do gray screen with extra white in a room on its own. But if you have a bunch of colors in your home, I'd be careful with this one. So long story short, I would do high reflective white of the bunch. So there you go. That's gray screen. I hope you enjoyed. Please check out my blog, my Instagram feed, and thank you for subscribing to my YouTube channel.